Content creation is now that much easier. Minimizing the labor pains of video editing with AI. You can streamline your content workflow by using Notebook LM and Descript to create engaging videos. When you go to notebooklm.google.com, click on the Create button. Load your data sources, and you can actually upload multiple data sources from Google Drive, a link from a website, you can paste text, or you can upload a PDF. You can add links to YouTube videos, and I've seen a video of someone uploading a PDF of 1,800 pages. That's not even the best thing about Notebook LM. Once you upload your data sources, you can create an audio overview of everything you've uploaded. When you create an audio overview with Notebook LM, it'll give you audio of what sounds like two real people having a conversation with podcast production level quality speaking on your topic. And here's what it sounds like. A thousand users. A thousand. Yeah, a thousand to a massive 10 million. A real challenge. Definitely a challenge. There are other great features in Notebook LM that leverage Google's most capable AI model, Google Gemini. But if you want to see those features, take a look at the video on the screen or in the description. So what we're going to do with this audio overview is download it. So we'll click on these three dots and download it. Next, we'll go to Descript. If you want to try out Descript, there's a link in the description. Once you create an account, click on New Project, New Video Project. Name your project and upload your file. Descript will transcribe your audio file. That's what it's done taking our 4 minute and 13 second audio file giving us this transcript in this frame here. You can edit this transcript to edit your video. So you can remove or add text and it'll edit your video accordingly. But before we dive into the editing, we'll take a look at the layout and features. If you go over to the right navigation, you have Underlord, which you could say is an AI agent to help you edit and perform certain tasks like editing the video for clarity, removing filler words, ensuring that the video, the persons featured in the video have eye contact, generating image, repurposing your content, creating summaries, YouTube descriptions, or drafting social posts, blog posts, and other helpful features. So we're gonna try edit for clarity. The script will go to work and remove filler words, remove silences. And we can see that it's done that by editing the script. So it's removed challenged, definitely. So it just shortens it, simplifies the sentence to a real challenge. We can also see that in the second paragraph as well. And that's really how you can edit the video by editing what's in the script. We have this notification here to identify speakers that might make things easier down the line. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll press play here to identify the first speaker. So true. We've covered a ton today. Defining accuracy target. We'll just call her woman next for the second speaker. <laughs> exactly. Maybe a good interaction saves you, what, 10 bucks? The script uses that information to label the speakers and label the script, color coding the audio as well as the script. We'll go on to the scene section. And this is where you can set your layout. So if you click on this drop down here, you'll see the options that are available. You can see the formats you can use. It shows this landscape audio. But if you go back or if you collapse this drop down, you can see the other options by clicking on browse all and clicking on this arrow in this section here. And you can see all these different formats. The default format for the audiogram is this radial waveform in this landscape layout. First, let's adjust these panels here so we can have more space and actually see the video but we can click on the radio waveform or click on the layers to adjust the settings of the waveform so for example when we 
first opened up this video, we had a line for the waveform, so we can change that by clicking on this drop down and selecting lines or any other format that we want. Now we can adjust the length, the size of this waveform, so we can adjust the width and the height of the waveform and also move the location of the waveform. So we'll put it down here at the bottom and then we can also edit the text here, the title, by clicking on that and we'll adjust the width of this as well. Of course, you can also adjust the properties of these video elements on the right side here with all of these settings laid out for you. We'll add a highlight feature to the spoken word. So we'll go to the properties on the right under style, click on this icon for textile settings and you can adjust any of these. But what we're going to do is select active word, click on the plus sign and the background will keep as blue for the fill. Let's change this to white. Let's see how this looks so far. So click on the play button here. Accuracy, of course. Gotta make sure that app is on point before we even think about scoring. Okay, the first thing we'll do is adjust the height of the waveform and just decrease it a little bit so that we can clearly read the words from the video. Good enough hand waving. Good needs to be in. And that looks much better. We'll go to the layer section, which is basically the same as in any other video editing tool where you can see all the elements in the scene. Right now we are looking at the audio waveform. So we'll go back and you can see these elements, figure out if you want to lock the or move elements to the front or the back. You can record scenes. You can add elements like text, shapes, dynamic text with a timer, title, a marker for different sections or specific sections in your video, waveform, progress bars, annotations, overlays, and frames. The script has these different caption styles which you might see on social media. The nice thing is when you hover over these captions, you can get a sense of what it looks like in a video. The script also provides stock media from video footage to audio footage. So that also includes GIFs and static images as well. At the beginning of the video, it talks about scaling LLM apps and likening it to a three stage rocket launch. So we can search for rocket launch in the stock footage here in the stock media. And I'm going to choose one of these GIFs here by simply clicking on it. But you can also add your own files. Personally, I like going to pixels.com, P-E-X-E-L-S.com. And we'll look at this video file here. Download the free version. Go to the project section and click on this upload icon to add the file. You can insert it into a script to create a new section, but what we're gonna do is add a new layer. The script adds it to the timeline down here and here we can adjust it. This video clip is 37 seconds long, but we want to make sure the sound is muted. So we'll click on layer and make sure that the video clip is selected and we'll turn off the layer sound. We're going to change the start at property. So it starts from zero from the beginning. Make sure you choose either the select or the range option and move it to where you want in the script. So we're going to align it with the three stage rocket launch. And for the duration, we'll hover over the end of the clip until we can see this bracket here and we'll move to the left to shorten the clip. You can also simply drag and drop files in your project folder. When you're finished editing, 
go to the top right corner, click on publish. You can click on this download icon, which will publish your composition. Let's take a look at our video. Today, we're taking those LLM apps from serving a thousand users to a massive 10 million, a real drone. But we've got OpenAI's Dev Day Insights to guide us. Think of this as a three-stage rocket launch. All right, that looks great. Now, if you want to unpublish it, make sure you go to the publish section again, click on this gear icon for publish settings, and select unpublish. Again, there's a link to a descript in the description. If you found this useful, like the video and leave a comment. If you want more content on AI, workflow automation, and analytics, subscribe to the channel.